Today I'm taking a look at some USB testers. I have three models here that I generally use quite frequently. Um, now these have a few different variations in functions, but at the most basic level they can check the voltage and amperage output, in other words the charging speed, and two of these models can actually count the capacity that you've put into a battery or device that you've charged up, such as a phone or a tablet. We'll look at the DROC first. This is a simple device. It just gives you the voltage and the amps. It's a big LED display here. Now, I generally use this for testing cables and just to see whether the charge rate is fast or slow on a device. The other model here is a KCX017. This can count the capacity, um, voltage and amps, and as well as it has a memory function so you can actually do a multiple tests on this and it remembers if you've unplugged it so it won't reset. So this has slightly better functionality than the DROC. You also have some banks there for memories and you can reset it. Now this is another one that I have and this just has a single port and you plug it directly into the device. The difference between this and the white one is that it can count the time taken so you can see here over seven hours on that particular test that I did. It does exactly the same as the others. Uh, it will count the voltage and amps plus the capacity you've put in. Now I generally use the drop tester for just a quick basic test on a device to see whether I'm getting the uh, amperage charging speeds or if there's a problem with a cable. The other two I use for testing capacities on batteries. Now do bear in mind that some devices will only charge at a specific rate and they can't fast charge. This phone that I have here can charge at a fast rate up to 1.5 amps. Some of the tablets and budget Android phones that I've tested just can't charge that quickly. Um, maybe 0.6, 0.7 amps, even with a high power USB pull and a charge optimized cable. So do bear that in mind as well. Another point to make note of is that the USB output really you're looking to test the output here I've used a fast charge port so I wouldn't get this speed off of a slow charge port so all the three of these devices are actually pretty useful to have around the house for testing